Ever wondered why Brazil is so crazily passionate about soccer? Well, let's dive into the heart of this vibrant nation and uncover the roots of their undying love for the sport. Brazil and soccer, it's a love story that has stood the test of time, a romance so deeply ingrained that it's almost a religion. The streets of Brazil brim with soccer enthusiasts, their faces painted in vibrant hues, their hearts pounding with the rhythm of the game. From the beaches of Rio de Janeiro to the bustling metropolis of Sao Paulo, soccer is a language that every Brazilian speaks. Now you might be wondering, what makes Brazil's soccer obsession so unique? Well imagine this, it's a Sunday afternoon, the sun is shining bright and you see a group of kids playing soccer barefoot on the streets, their eyes gleaming with dreams of becoming the next Pele or Ronaldo. That's the spirit of Brazilian soccer, it's not just a game, it's a dream, a passion, a way of life. And speaking of Pele and Ronaldo, did you know that Brazil has produced some of the greatest soccer players the world has ever seen? It's true, the country boasts five World Cup titles, more than any other nation, and has given birth to legends like Pele, Ronaldo, and more recently, Neymar. These players are not just athletes, they are national heroes, symbols of Brazil's indomitable spirit and love for soccer. But don't be fooled into thinking that Brazil's soccer passion is all about professional games and star players, no no no. The real charm lies in the local matches, where communities gather to cheer, jeer, laugh and cry together. It's in these moments amidst the shouts of goal and the beating of samba drums, that you truly understand why soccer is so much more than just a sport in Brazil. So, if you're a soccer fan, you might just consider Brazil as your spiritual home. With every corner echoing the cheers of soccer lovers, every alleyway a potential field, and every Brazilian a potential soccer maestro, Brazil truly is a soccer nation like no other. Did you know that there is a place in Brazil where you can literally breathe the freshest air on earth? Yes, you guessed it right! It's the Amazon rainforest, often referred to as the lungs of the earth. This isn't just a fancy title, my friends. It's a significant one. Why you ask? Well let's dive in. The Amazon rainforest is the largest tropical rainforest in the world, covering over two and a half million square miles. That's roughly the size of the entire continent of Australia. It's so big that it spreads over nine countries with a whopping 60% of it in Brazil. But it's not just about the size. The Amazon is a powerhouse of global oxygen production. It generates around 20% of the world's oxygen. That's right, one in every five breaths you take, you can thank the Amazon. It's like a colossal natural air purifier. Now let's talk about the Amazon's residents. And no, I'm not talking about the human inhabitants. The Amazon is home to a mind-boggling array of creatures. From the slithering anacondas to the toothy piranhas, it's a wild, wild world out there. Imagine this. You're cruising down the Amazon River, and there you spot an anaconda, the world's heaviest and one of the longest snakes, just taking a casual swim. No biggie, right? But remember, in the Amazon the anaconda is just one of the over 430 distinct species of mammals you might cross paths with. And let's not forget about the piranhas. Now you might have heard some hair-raising stories about these toothy critters, but rest assured, piranhas are generally not the man-eating monsters that Hollywood makes them out to be. In fact they're pretty shy and prefer to stay away from humans, but still, maybe don't dangle your toes in the water, just to be safe. But it's not all teeth and scales in the Amazon, the rainforest is also a paradise for bird watchers with over 1,600 species of birds. That's more than the number of bird species found in the whole of North America, the Amazon is truly a treasure trove of biodiversity. It's a place where you can witness nature in all its untamed glory, but remember this incredible ecosystem is under threat. Deforestation, illegal logging and climate change are all posing significant challenges to the Amazon and its inhabitants. So, next time you plan a trip to Brazil, consider a visit to the Amazon. And remember it's not just about the breathtaking sights and the thrill of adventure, it's also about understanding the importance of this incredible ecosystem and what we can do to protect it. So if you're planning to visit the Amazon remember to pack a mosquito net and maybe a piranha-proof swimsuit. Ever heard of a diet that includes beans, rice and a lot of meat? Welcome to Brazil! Now let's take a moment to appreciate the sheer diversity and richness of Brazilian cuisine. Far beyond the soccer pitches and the lush rainforests, Brazil's gastronomic scene is a playground for the senses. Bursting with flavors, colors and textures, each dish tells a story of the country's vibrant cultural history and diverse regional influences. Let's start with feijoada, the national dish of Brazil. Imagine a hearty black bean stew, simmering slowly with a variety of pork cuts. From tenderloin to smoked sausage, 
and even some awful for the adventurous. This is a dish that doesn't shy away from flavor. And if you thought that was all, think again. Served with rice, collard greens, farofa, and orange slices, feijoada is a feast that is meant to be shared and savored. But don't let feijoada steal all the limelight. Brazil's culinary repertoire extends far beyond this meaty marvel. Take acarajé, for instance. This is a traditional dish from the state of Bahia in the northeast of Brazil. Picture a deep-fried ball of dough, crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, filled with a fiery shrimp mixture. It's a taste of the coast, a bite of the ocean, all wrapped up in a neat little package. And these are just the tip of the iceberg, from the cheesy bread puffs known as pau de cuejo, to the creamy seafood stew called moqueca. There's a whole world of flavors waiting to be explored in Brazil. Each region has its own unique dishes, showcasing the country's wide array of ingredients and cooking techniques. So if you're someone who loves to explore new cuisines, to dive into different cultures through food, then Brazil might just be your next culinary adventure. From the hearty feijoada to the crispy acarajé, every dish is a testament to Brazil's rich culinary heritage and its ability to bring people together around the table. So, if you're a foodie, Brazil might just be your next culinary adventure. What if I told you there's a party in Brazil that makes New Year's Eve look like a quiet night in? Yes, you heard it right. We are talking about the world-famous Brazilian Carnival, a week-long festival that puts all other parties to shame. Imagine a celebration so big, so vibrant, so full of life, it makes Mardi Gras look like a tea party. Brazilian Carnival isn't just a party, it's an explosion of culture, colors, music and dance that engulfs the entire country. From the bustling cities to the quietest corners of the Amazon, Brazil becomes one giant dance floor. Let's start with Rio de Janeiro, the heart of the carnival. The city that's known for its iconic Christ the Redeemer statue, stunning beaches and breathtaking landscapes, transforms into a paradise of exuberance. The Sambadrome, a specially designed parade area, becomes the epicenter of the festivities. Picture this, thousands of dancers in extravagant glittering costumes each more elaborate than the last, moving in perfect harmony to the rhythm of samba. Enormous floats adorned with detailed sculptures glide through the Sambadrome, each telling a unique story. The air is electric, filled with the pulsating beats of drums, the cheering crowds, and the exhilarating energy of the dancers. But it's not just about Rio. Every corner of Brazil gets into the carnival spirit. In Salvador, the carnival takes on an Afro-Brazilian flavor, with traditional blocos Afros groups filling the streets with their drum-driven music and dance. In Recife, you'll find the Galo da Madrugada, the largest carnival parade on earth, where millions of people dance to the beat of Frevo, a frenetic high-energy music style unique to the region. Now I know what you're thinking, how does one survive a week-long party of this magnitude? Well, Brazilians have got that figured out too. They've turned napping into an art form. Siestas are a must during carnival week. You snooze, you party, you repeat. And let's not forget about the food. Street vendors serve up a smorgasbord of delicious Brazilian treats, from savory pastels and acarajes to sweet brigadeiros and beijinhos. Trust me, you'll need the energy. But what truly sets the Brazilian carnival apart is its spirit of inclusivity. It's a celebration where everyone, regardless of age, gender, or social status, is invited to dance, sing, and let loose. It's a time when Brazilians forget their troubles and immerse themselves in the joy of the moment. So if you're ever feeling like life's become a bit too mundane, pack your bags, grab your dancing shoes, and head to Brazil for the carnival. It's an experience unlike any other, a spectacle that needs to be seen to be believed. But remember my friends, there's one golden rule. What happens in carnival stays in carnival. Did you know that Brazil is a treasure trove quite literally? Indeed, when it comes to precious stones, Brazil sparkles brighter than a diamond in the rough. This vibrant nation is one of the world's largest producers of gemstones, and we're not just talking about the everyday kind. We're talking about the kind of stones that make your eyes pop and your heart skip a beat. Let's start with topaz, a gemstone that's as versatile as Brazil's diverse landscapes. Topaz can be found in a myriad of hues, from fiery reds to cool blues, but it's the imperial topaz, a golden orange variety that's exclusively mined in Brazil. And just like the country's golden sunsets, this gem is a sight to behold. Next we have amethyst, a royal purple stone that's as enchanting as a Brazilian samba. Known for its calming properties, amethyst is as soothing as a bossa nova tune. Brazil is home to the world's largest amethyst deposit, and let's just say, if purple is your color, you're in for a treat. And let's not forget tourmaline, a gem that's as colorful and vibrant as Brazil's carnival. 
With a spectrum that spans all the colors of the rainbow, tourmaline is the embodiment of Brazil's zest for life. And guess what? Brazil is the leading producer of this dazzling gem. But what's remarkable is how Brazil's love for beauty and glamour is reflected in its gemstone industry. Just like the gems they produce, Brazilians have a knack for standing out and shining bright. They believe in the power of beauty, whether it's in the form of a breathtaking landscape, a mesmerizing dance, or a stunning gemstone. So, the next time you're marveling at a piece of jewelry, remember it might just have a little bit of Brazil in it. And if you're planning a trip to this gem of a country, don't be surprised if you find yourself drawn to its glittering allure. After all, who doesn't like a bit of sparkle? So, if you're planning to visit Brazil, you might just come back a little bit shinier. So there you have it, 5 fun facts that make Brazil an amazing country. When you think of Brazil, what comes to mind? Is it the rhythmic samba, the succulent feijoada, or the vibrant carnival? Or perhaps, it's the breathtaking Amazon rainforest, or the country's undying love for soccer? Well, my friend, Brazil is all of this and so much more. Let's take a quick trip down memory lane, shall we? First off, we delved into the heart of Brazilian culture, its unparalleled passion for soccer. The sport is more than just a game here. It's a way of life, a unifying force. From the sandy beaches to the bustling city streets, the echo of a bouncing soccer ball is never too far away. Next, we ventured into the lungs of our planet, the Amazon rainforest. It's a world teeming with life, a kaleidoscope of biodiversity. The Amazon is not just a Brazilian treasure, it's a global one, a testament to the beauty and resilience of nature. Then we tantalized our taste buds with the national dish, feijoada, a hearty black bean stew brimming with various cuts of pork. It's a culinary experience that embodies the Brazilian spirit of hospitality and communal dining. From there, we danced our way to the Rio Carnival, the biggest party on earth. It's a riot of color, music, and dance, where people from all walks of life come together to celebrate life itself in the most exuberant fashion. And finally we discovered Brazil's sparkling secret, it's a land of gems. From dazzling diamonds to enchanting emeralds, Brazil's subsoil is a treasure trove, adding another facet to its diverse character. Brazil, my friends, is a symphony of wonders, a colorful mosaic of traditions, nature, food, festivals, and yes, shiny gems. It's a country where the rhythm of life is set to the beat of the samba drum, where the spirit of festivity permeates the air, where the love for soccer unites millions, where nature's bounty is respected and cherished, and where the earth itself bestows precious gifts. But what truly makes Brazil a land of wonders is its people. Their warmth, their zest for life, their resilience, and their infectious joy. They are the heart and soul of this vibrant country, the ones who infuse it with its unique charm and vivacity. So, let's raise a toast to Brazil, a country that dances to its own rhythm, that revels in its diversity, that cherishes its natural riches, and that welcomes everyone with open arms and a hearty feijoada. So, are you ready for a Brazilian adventure? Don't forget your soccer ball, mosquito net, appetite, party spirit, and of course, your love for all things shiny.